Hold up the Netherlands there. And England lead after 40 minutes. Jamie Vardy. Just a quick bit of news. Harry Kane has been injured for three weeks. And we've got to pick a replacement. Going to the B team, and I think I'm going to bring in pa Tammy Abraham. I think he supports the formation that I'm playing. I think that's more of a formation thing than a team thing. But anyway, call him up to the England squad in place of Harry Kane. It's only for three weeks, so it's not too bad. But confirm squad, talk to Harry Kane. Well. Anyway, I'll hopefully pick him in for the next squad, but anyway, let's get into these games. Hello there, welcome to episode 2 of the England FM18 save. Firstly, you might have seen already on the screen, is choosing the England captain. Anyway, the choice I've gone for is Gary Cahill as captain and Harry Kane as vice captain. It's probably going to change. I was going to pick like a Jordan Henderson or a Harry Kane for captain, but I'm not sure they're going to play every single game, especially in the qualifiers. I was going to pick Jordan Henderson, but as a Man United fan, I've kind of just got res reservations for picking a Liverpool player as England captain. In fairness, I'm not entirely bothered if it happens in real life, but I can't really do it on my fault manager save. So I've just chose Gary Cahill. I don't think he's going to play that many England games either, but... I'm kind of going for the same approach in real life that Gareth Southgate is going for, that everyone has a role of becoming a leader and hopefully some other players can bring it up. I was thinking of putting it on a player like a Kai Walker or a Daily Alley, one of the players that I'm going to start a bit more. Maybe a Rashford or something, I kind of like Rashford or maybe one of the keepers. But I haven't really chosen which keeper I'm going to pick. So it's not really a choice at the moment. For manager, as the stats, as Gary Cahill for the thing. And anyway, full manager suggests I should do it the other way around. But I'm just going to decide right here, right now, Gary Cahill as captain and Harry Kane as vice captain. So then, this is the team I'm going to play for this first game against Lithuania. Just literally just testing out the keepers, so don't know who I'm going to play. Probably just going to stick with Butland for this game, and Siri so does. But definitely going to change the keepers for the next game. Doesn't matter what happens, it's in like four days as well. So, Butland starts in goal. Back four, technically, of Bertrand, Harry Maguire. John Stones and Kyle Walker. Midfield of Nathaniel Chalabar and Jack Wilshere with an attacking lineup of Sterling on the left, Lingard just behind Tammy Abraham and Marcus Rashford. Was going to have him the other way around, but it looks like it works a little bit better this way around. Anyway, I kind of thought this was going to go a lot worse than it would, but it looks like Kyle Walker's very suited to that wing back a lot more than I actually thought he was but anyway let's get into this first game just to prove that England captain doesn't really mean anything Jack Butland takes the captain for this game against Lithuania just thought he just got all the attributes for it but not really the stats to back it up but anyway on key highlights let's get into it Nothing really to note so far. We won the back ball back with Wilshire. Back to it from Carl Walker. Back to Wilshire now. Gonna spread the play to Jesse Lingard. Launch it forward to Rashford. It's one on one with the keeper. Got a lot of work to do. Big save by Cars in the Lithuanian net. Tammy Abraham picks up the pieces, crosses towards the edge of the box, towards Wilshire, knocks it down towards Chalabar, and to walk on this right hand side. Gonna run down this right hand side, put a Pretty poor crossing that the Lithuania keeper is gonna gather pretty easily. Keeper launches it forward. Kyle Walker knocks it down towards Rashford. 
rather a central position, not what I had in an idea. Rashford towards Sterling, he cannot miss, and he actually just did. John Stones, the free kick for England. Ed's car walk on this right hand side. Coming a bit central more than I actually thought he would. Towards Wilshire, got walk on the overlap. Has found him. A decent cross should be there. Tammy Abraham, about three yards out, should have finished that. Goal kick from the Lithuanian keeper. Having quite a few highlights since that 20th minute. John Stone should win this and does. Down to Abraham. Should find either Wilshire or another teammate. Does find Wilshire towards Jesse Lingard. Running through. Chooses another teammate. Abraham a second chance. And this time puts England 1-0 up into the bottom corner. Keeper really had no chance. The placement on that was so far close to the net. That a very few keepers in the world will save that. Tammy Abraham choked. Well proving to me why he should be in the next England squad. Just watch this on the replay. Just brings it down. Just place it into that bottom corner. Absolute perfect finish. Another goal kick for the Lithuanian keeper. Launches it forward. We should win this. We have got enough centre backs back. Maguire wins it towards Abraham. Flicks it towards the left hand side but Sterling is not really alive to it. Lithuania kind of got an attack now. Just getting the ball an attack for Lithuania let's be honest Bikus with the ball taking on the car walker doesn't really go for it though plays a 1-2 but the second pass isn't really that great Johnstones picks up finds car walker and should release Rashford it looks like he's on side got Abraham for company it doesn't really make an opportunity he goes alone and it looks like he's gone through the keeper's legs but anyway I don't really care 33 minutes gone, England 2, Lithuania 0. After a pretty poor start, it looks like England have gone into their pace. And a couple more goals and it's going to look like a bit more of a easier game than Lithuania would have noticed. It wasn't even nutmeg, it's just beating it as near post. Lithuania has the ball just before half time. I'm thinking of making a sub. I think Raheem Sterling's right footed. So it's kind of made coming in a lot more than I wanted to. He's having a pit, pretty poor game. And kind of just don't want him to get injured. I would play him in that kind of attacking midfield role. Which I feel he's a bit better suited to. Or maybe be an inside forward. But still I'll keep a clean sheet. At least for this first half. Maguire did quite well there to be honest. Lingard brings it forward. Goes past one. But chooses Walker as his passing option. Walker. Just look at this. Just breezy past everyone. Decent cross in. Not really. The keeper drops it. Tammy Abraham. Wasn't really alive to the situation. But out to Sterling on this left hand side. And yeah. Half time. I think I will. That's not great. It's not a great press conference is it? It's not a press conference. Team meeting. Not sure what the assistant manager is playing at. I think I will bring on Sessignon on that left hand side. I think he's a bit better suited to the position. Left foot as well should help him out a bit. First chance of the second half into the 52nd minute. Lingard picks it up towards Abraham. Wasn't really in look like he was going forward. Abraham finds Sessignon. A decent ball in and it should be three. But a bit like a couple of the Kyle Walker crosses. Go straight to the keeper and uh, Lithuania have a chance. To get one back. The keeper does launch it forward. And gets past both our defenders. Can he get past another one? Maguire. This is why I put him in the squad. Might not be the best player on football manager. But in real life. But he's in the squad for a reason. And that is why. In fantasy he's in the human squad. But still. Very good player. Rashford's got it now. Should square it to Abraham. He does. Abraham is the post. Can he get the rebound? Not quite. Bertrand does pick up a left back position. A bit of a cross. A bit too deep to be honest. And Lithuania are on the attack now. Left back to Spelvis. To uh, a midfielder. Hurt it in towards the England team. Chalaba knocks it back to uh, John Stones. Not sure why he's at the right back position. But it worked anyway. Rashford. He should go alone, he does. He should probably should have kept it low to be honest. Pretty good keeper for that height for the keeper. 
and goes out for a corner. You can just tell by these highlights we've been dominating the game. Wilshire 2 take this corner. Pretty England like corner to be honest. Here's the first man out towards a player. Chalaba this time. Goal kick for Lithuania. Not really threatened us in this game. And look at that from John Stones. Corley personified. Walker down this right wing. It's just way too good for him. Charlie Austin now. Not really got the best cross on him. But we'll see what it's like now. It is a decent cross to be fair. Finds Wilshire, And that shot was probably a lot closer than it looked. 10 minutes to go now. Lithuania have literally had one shot. And this is literally when they equalise. And we're going to look a bit of a fall. But John Stones again on this right wing. Testing his ability to go past them. Kyle Walker's made it look easy. Don't see why he can't. Lingard finds Ryan Sessignon. Not really had that good luck with the left hand side. And Charlie Austin. I think a lot of people have answered asked questions about Charlie Austin's appearance in this England squad but looks like it's not really coming up to the plate so far should probably should have scored that header but short pass towards Lingard finds Ryan Sessignon can he put a decent cross in he's got two men in the box more people coming in towards Charlie Austin knocks it down towards Tammy Abraham and there we are second of the game two players that a lot of people wouldn't have in their England side but I've got him in the England side they're linked together <laughs> maybe three players that a lot of people would they've all linked together and we've got a goal England 3 Lithuania nil. 7 nil. Slovenia over Malta we need to face Malta with love to score 7 goals just make this formation look a bit OP I mean to be fair it is quite OP already so we <laughs> calling it Slovenia Lithuania have only had one shot. Looks like we're going to get maybe a fourth. Setting on to Lingard. Got Rash Bertrand on the overlap. Crosses towards Charlie Austin at the back post. Beats his man. And there we are. Bertrand and Charlie Austin. Maybe two players that wouldn't be in a lot of people's England squad. Two people that aren't in the real life England squad. But anyway, two players link that probably a lot of people wouldn't have in their England squad. Anyway, Lithuania. Lithuania nil, England four, four minutes left and maybe we can get a fifth. Here we are then, Jack Butland with a goal kick. Not really had much to do but it's been pretty good with his goal kick so far. That one from Charlie Austin towards Kyle Walker. Back to Charlie Austin, got three people in the box. One of them is Tammy Abraham and there is his hat trick. Tammy Abraham, I was going to put him in the England squad. I thought about not doing it. That injury to Kane has just brought the best out of Tammy Abraham and surely he's got to be in the England squad for the World Cup. Especially when I think this is his full debut and he's got a hat-trick. How many other England players have got a hat-trick? And look at the player they turned out to be. That is a hell of a header. England 5, Lithuania 0 and surely that's the end of the game. Free kick towards our end with Lithuania. Surely we've got a clean sheet now and we do 5-0 full time pretty dominated performance 26 shots 14 on target to Lithuania's 1 and 0 they were very good congratulations lads a 5-0 win pretty much everyone played well and next is Scotland but anyway Abraham was absolutely great England on course for the World Cup qualification and <laughs> buoyant mood being witnessed within the England camp following that performance but anyway I'm only going to do one game an episode just because this room is basically as hot as Qatar so glad the World Cup is gonna be rescheduled hopefully because I'm just sat here playing football manager and I'm sweating. But anyway, that's the end of episode two. Catch us back next episode for Scotland against England. Look at some of these players. Robert Snodgrass, Craig Gordon. A little bit more of a test against, was it Lithuania we just played? Yep, it was. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.